Okay, let's talk about how to actually read some voltages. I have a couple 9 volt batteries here. One is uh, a couple years old that just came out of this fluke um, and is dead or dying. And then another one is a brand new Amazon Basic. Um, so let's talk about how to read some of these voltages. You want to find DC, which is fairly simple here. If you look right here, it'll be a line with a couple little dashes. So you would just turn your meter to the DC. It'll actually say DC right there. You can turn on the backlight, makes it a little easier to read. As you can see, I'm reading about zero right now, which makes sense. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test first a good battery. So I have one here. And what we can do is you could take your red lead and stick it into the positive, like so. Black lead into the negative like so and the red um, and you can see here the reading is nine nine up uh, 9.71 so they are identical to each other uh, which is very much expected so that's the new battery let's go ahead and check with the fluke an older dying battery again the negative is just the smaller or the excuse me the larger one on these and you can go ahead and just check it here and we're looking at 7.3 um, so on my fluke there was a little battery icon about right here some of the other videos had that uh, so let's go ahead and check it with the other meter um, again just connect it now the best thing uh, now we're seeing 7.31 the best thing with DC voltage is if you get it wrong and you flip them it's the same number but there's a negative sign um, and I'll show you here on the flute because it's a little better to read so if you get it the correct way, shown 731, you get it the opposite backwards way, we're seeing negative 732. Um, so it's kind of good to know. You can check other batteries. Next up we have, we're going to check some different batteries here. We have two AAAs. My meter is still in voltage DC. Um, currently we're reading about zero volts. So here is just a DC, uh, excuse me, an AAA battery. We're seeing 1.573 volts. Um, we'll go ahead and test that in the battery tester. And you see here, it says it's good. Um, you know, it's expected this is a brand new battery. I also have a used battery that I pulled out of. I don't remember what I pulled this out of, but it's a used battery. We'll check the voltage there as well. We are getting about... We are getting about 95 Um, So very low, very low battery. And you can see here on this tester, it doesn't even move. It doesn't even move the meter. So, bad battery versus good battery. You can actually read those on a fluke or any other meter. As you see, the voltage is so low it doesn't even change the meter. AC voltage reading on both the clamp style and your regular handheld are very similar, super easy. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to select the correct reading type on your meter. In this case, the wavy line above the V is for AC. So, turn it to AC. And it's going to show here AC. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your two probes... You take your two probes and for AC it doesn't matter 
which one you plug in where as far as the slots because AC is omnidirectional. So just a little safety note, make sure you don't touch any of the metal leads, but as long as you keep your hands kind of where I'm at here, you'll be fine. As you see, we're reading about 120.2 volt AC, um, very much in line with what I expected. Let's go ahead and try with the clamp style. The clamp style will be exactly the same, but we're just going to do this uh, for sanity check. So again, you're going to select voltage. So we'll go ahead and spin that over there. And you'll see down here, it's going to say A, or excuse me, it's going to say DC. So you have to hit the select on this particular unit to get over to AC. You can turn on the backlight if you would like. Makes it a little simpler. And I'll, I'll hold this one up once I get these in. But at the end of the day, the reading's the same way. As you can see here, we're reading 120.0, 119.9. Pretty close overall, pretty good. Again, safety, do not touch the metal part coming out because it is live. The other good thing about most of the clamp meters, not all of them, they will also have this non-contact voltage at the top. So you can turn your spin dial, so it'll say NCV. Turn your spin dial all the way to NCV. It's probably going to give you some error number really close here we can actually see as you see it lights up i've shown this before the reason that it doesn't show up over here in this section is the voltage isn't close enough i have a tester that uh will detect that i'll see if i can actually find that one but i usually can stick there we go so you have to be very particular about that one in order for it to work so it's not as sensitive as some of the standalones but still it works